There's a concept I want to do a really quick video on, and I got the idea of doing this video yesterday in a class. And a couple of shooters on the range qualifying, and all very good shooters. I think out of the eight of them that shot, there was three misses on the entire course of fire across the two relays. So uh, good shooters, but, but there was a couple of them, and I found myself saying this over and over again. Trust your sights. Trust your sights. Trust your sights. And what they were doing is they would get the weapon out there, and they've, I know they've got sight picture in alignment because I see the fine tune adjustment. They're good draw stroke, get the gun instinctively pointed pretty close to where they expect to be aiming. I see the, the sights adjusting and fine tuning, and then they're just sitting there. And their finger's not on the trigger, even if it's on the trigger, it's just sitting on the slack or press the slack out, and they're just and they're sitting there almost like waiting for missile lock on their sights. And I'm, I'm yelling, trust your sights, take the shot. And, and, and I've seen shooters, these shooters didn't necessarily do this. I'm telling them, like, press the trigger smooth, right? So, and they interpret that, you know, as super, super slow, which doesn't always mean smooth has to be super, super slow. When you're learning to be smooth, it helps to be to slow. Be slow. People, there's a fallacy: the slow is smooth, smooth is fast. As, as we understand what that means, but really, a better way of articulating is slow builds smooth, smooth builds flat fast. You have to be slow to get smooth, and then you can be smooth to get fast, uh, and you you add speed to the smooth motions. And, and people get stuck out there, and they'll do everything slow, and then almost freeze, and then. They're either running out of breath, running out of strength to hold the position, or they feel like they're running out of time, and then they drop the trigger and miss. So that's not what was happening yesterday, but they were just sitting out there, presumably waiting for missile lock to boop, boop, come up in their heads up to display. And we don't have missile lock, right? I mean, we're human beings. So you, you got to trust your sights. And so what I want to talk about in this video is just as soon as you know your sights are there, start pressing the trigger. That seems like such a simple concept. Um, but, but when people are methodically training fundamentals and they're not working on speed necessarily, they, they feel, they over accentuate how slow they really need to be doing. You don't take any more time than is necessary to apply the fundamentals to the degree that you need to based on the precision you're trying to achieve. So you don't have to move as slow as possible. Just move slow enough to get the fundamentals perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the target. Uh, just to multiple distances, shooting at that little orange sticker. And as soon as I have sight alignment, sight picture, when I'm shooting the uh, notch and post gun, or as soon as I get my red dot on my gun where I want it to be, I'm going to start pressing the trigger smoothly. It's not going to be as slow as I possibly can, but I'm just not going to waste any time on nothing. And I guess that's the, the point, and maybe we'll end up being the title of this video, don't waste time doing nothing. Even whenever you're practicing fundamentals and not speed, don't waste time and energy doing nothing. You're either drawing the gun, gripping the gun, presenting the sights, lining them up, fine tuning, squeezing the trigger, resetting the trigger, and, and whatever. And that, that shot uh, follow through just keeps happening. You know, and, and don't waste time doing nothing. You don't have to shoot incredibly slow to be practicing your fundamentals. So. Uh, I'll run the target out. I'm just going to start super close, three yards. I'm going to shoot, you know, three rounds here. I'll have to go to, to seven yards, 15 yards, 25 yards, bring it back in, swap over to the uh, notch and post gun, and just so that the process works the same way there. Don't waste time doing nothing. So at, at every point in this process, when the gun's in my hand, I'm going to be doing something that eventually lands around on that target. And, and you'll, it is not, I'm not trying to be fast. That's not the point here. I'm just not trying to be slow. Uh, I know that's semantics, but I'm just going to be doing something, always doing something, staging a trigger, lining up sights, squeezing the trigger, resetting the trigger, so on and so forth. Uh, and, and, and hopefully you'll get the idea that, that I'm still going slow enough to apply the fundamentals perfectly. Okay. Not shooting fast necessarily. I'm just not wasting time doing nothing. The gun's in my hand. I'm doing something that will e eventually land around in that target.
pace probably changed as the distance increased because it does take a little bit more time to fine tune that shot. Not wasting time doing nothing. A little bit to the left here, that's probably adjustment needed to be made on the RMR. Uh, I just got back from a class and the last thing I did was set it up for seven yards to try something uh, when I got back uh, from the class. So I probably need to shift this back out to 10, 15 yards, make sure I'm centered up there. But the group is the point. I'm not wasting time doing nothing. So uh, even when you're practicing fundamentals and we have this concept in our mind that, all right, when we're practicing speed, we're moving fast. And when we're practicing fundamentals, we're moving slow. And it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be slow to be practicing the fundamentals. You just need to go slow enough uh, in terms of your pace, really not focusing on the time, but focusing on the mechanics of whatever it is you're doing, either internal or external mechanics. And what I mean by that is uh, internal mechanics would be what's happening in my mind. Am I, am I taking the time to actually line my sights up? Am I taking the time to, to press the trigger smooth enough that I don't anticipate the recoil and that kind of thing. So same drill. Um, I'm just going to run it with this Gen 4 Glock 17. It's bone stock. I'm just going to run a flashlight on it so I can use it as a holster. Same thing. As soon as sight picture and alignment's there, I'm staging the trigger, squeezing the trigger. At every moment the gun's in my hand, I'm doing something that puts a round on the target. I'm not looking for a pace, I'm just looking for the fundamentals. Are my sights aligned? If they are, why am I standing here doing nothing? not really worried about that point is don't do nothing don't waste the limited amount of time you have training and I don't care if you have a pistol range at work or at your house or whatever however much training time you have it's still limited nobody gets to live on the range don't waste time doing nothing if a guns in your hand and you're practicing then make it practice um, it, you know re regardless of what it is you're trying to practice be doing something you're not doing yourself any favors just to be standing out there, you know, doubting the sights is what it seems like to me. And, and you know, people have that natural movement. It feels like you're moving all over the place out there, especially when you're shooting 25 yards. But look, if this is what your wobble is, that's what your wobble is all the way down, okay? You're not wobbling at an angle. You're kind of wobbling, so, you know, just shaking, okay? So it, it looks like it's all over the target, but it's not. Trust your sights. Don't waste your limited amount, a lot amount of time training doing nothing. Okay, all right.